Welcome to the 10-minute tutorial for research. My name is Matt Boyd, and I'm a Solutions Architect at AWS. Today, I'm going to walk you through simple ways that researchers can analyze and monitor their costs in an AWS account, and also set budgets to alert when costs exceed custom thresholds that are set by the end user. But before we do that, I'll provide a quick overview of several key cost monitoring and management tools that AWS provides. Let's get started. When you begin using services in your AWS account, you are charged for the usage of each service based on the service's utilization and consumption dimensions, such as the number of hours an EC2 instance is running or the number of gigabytes per month that you store in Simple Storage Service, or S3. The AWS Billing Console provides a single location for you to view your bills, analyze your historical and month-to-date costs, configure alerts, and identify optimization opportunities, such as savings plans or reserved instances. Cost and billing data is updated in your account once per day. Your month-to-date bill represents the current estimated costs for that month. Note that the bill is not finalized until the end of the month, and some discounts, when applicable, may not appear on the until the bill is finalized. If your AWS account is not linked to your institution or organization, you may also use the billing console to configure your payment methods. And to organize costs, you can also set up cost allocation tags. When cost allocation tags are enabled, tags on resources in your account can be included in your cost data. For example, you can tag EC2 instances and storage volumes with project-related tags such as billing code so that you can filter or group costs by those tags. Within the billing console is a tool called AWS Cost Explorer. Cost Explorer has an easy-to-use interface that lets you visualize, understand, and manage your AWS costs and usage over time. Cost Explorer can be used to analyze and dive deep into your costs and quickly identify trends. Using Cost Explorer, you can review historical costs on a month, daily, or even hourly basis. Costs can be filtered and grouped by many different dimensions, including AWS service, usage type, charge type, tag, and many more. Filters and views can also be saved as reusable reports, and report data can be exported in CSV format so that it can be imported into a spreadsheet program or other tabular data tools. Cost Explorer also contains built-in functionality for forecasting costs based on historical trends. This could be useful in predicting your costs, especially if your historical usage patterns align with your future use. Finally, AWS Budgets allows you to set custom budgets to track your costs and usage from the simplest to the most complex use cases. With AWS Budgets, you can choose to be alerted by email or SNS notification when your actual or forecasted cost exceeds your budget thresholds. You can also use AWS Budget Actions to automatically take action on resources in your account to help reduce unintentional overspend. For example, you can use Budget Actions to automatically stop specific instances when spend reaches a given threshold, or to automatically attach an identity and access management policy that restricts the creation of new EC2 instances. For more advanced scenarios, AWS Budgets can send notifications to Simple Notification Service, or SNS. This is commonly used to trigger Lambda functions that can perform more complex operations programmatically using the AWS Software Development Kit. Similar to Cost Explorer, AWS Budgets supports granular filtering by dimensions such as AWS Service or Cost Allocation Tag, and budgets can be created to monitor daily, monthly, quarterly, or even annual spend. Now let's quickly walk through the AWS Billing Console and demonstrate how to use Cost Explorer to analyze costs. We'll also use AWS Budgets to send email alerts when our daily and monthly spend exceeds a set threshold. Finally, we'll use budget reports to send a daily email report showing spend against our budget. I can access my billing dashboard by clicking my username in the upper right hand corner of the AWS Management Console and going to My Billing Dashboard. On the Billing Dashboard homepage, I can quickly see my month-to-date spend by service, as well as my spend from my previous month, my current monthly spend, and my forecasted spend for the month. On the left-hand side are different sections that help me manage costs, view billing information, manage my payments, and also set additional billing preferences, payment methods, and tax settings. To access Cost Explorer, I click the Cost Explorer link on the sidebar. I then go to Launch Cost Explorer. This opens a new window with the Cost Explorer dashboard. In the Cost Explorer dashboard, I can quickly see my current monthly costs, my forecasted costs, as well as any trends on the right-hand side that stand out. In the center, I also see a bar chart that represents daily costs in my account by day. To dive deeper in my costs, I can click the Explore Costs link to go to the interactive Cost Explorer console. 
Within the Cost Explorer interface, I have multiple options for creating Cost Explorer reports. At the top, I can select different time ranges as well as the granularity of cost reporting data that I want to retrieve. I can also group my data by various dimensions, including service, account, instance type, or if I have cost allocation tags enabled or cost categories, I can click the more pull down and select a, ca a category or tag that I want to group by. Similarly, on the right hand side, I have various filters that I can use for filtering my cost data by service, account, region, and instance type, usage type or group, as well as individual resources or cost category or tag. I can also include or exclude different charge types, such as refunds and credits, and further filter with more advanced granularity. Below the Cost Explorer graph, I also have a tabular view of my data based on the selections that I've made in the Cost Explorer interface. I can download this data as a CSV file if I want to edit it in another analysis tool or do advanced grouping and filtering of the data set. Now let's switch over to AWS budgets to set up a budget so that we can be notified if our spend exceeds a certain threshold. On the left-hand side, I'm going to go to the click budgets to go to the AWS budgets interface. You can see in this interface that I already have three budgets configured. One monitors my daily account spend. Another budget is set up to monitor costs on a monthly basis and also supports forecasting. Finally, I have another budget that's specific to S3 storage, and I've labeled that monthly budget research storage. Let's create a new budget by clicking on the Create Budget button. In the first step, we select a budget type. In this case, we want our budget to monitor actual cost incurred in the account, but we could also create budgets that monitor usage by usage type such as EC2 instance running hours. We could also set budgets for monitoring reserved instance and savings plan utilization and coverage. In the next step, we begin to define our budget, starting with a name, time period, and starting month. Let's create a new daily budget to monitor the daily costs incurred in this AWS account. Daily budgets allow you to catch unexpected spend and take action sooner, rather than waiting until later in the month as you might with a monthly or quarterly budget. Since you can have multiple budgets, you might create both a daily and monthly budget to help track costs over both time periods. With daily budgets, you can specify a fixed amount to budget for. Keep in mind this number represents the daily spend and not the monthly total. A snapshot of average daily spend for the last 30 days is also displayed. I've set this daily budget to $65. Similar to Cost Explorer, I can filter usage by various dimensions. For example, I could filter by the S3 service to create a budget specifically for storage costs within that service. There are also several advanced options for aggregation and related costs. Note that you should leave credits unselected even if you're using AWS credits. Otherwise, costs covered with AWS credits in the account will not be monitored. Next, I need to define at least one budget threshold. A threshold defines at what fixed amount or percentage of my budget I want to trigger a notification. A budget can have multiple thresholds defined, and each budget can have different notification settings. For example, I can send an email to myself when I exceed 90% of my budget, and a notification to my manager when I exceed 100%. There are also advanced notification settings, such as sending notifications to a simple notification service topic, as well as using AWS Chatbot to deliver alerts to Slack or Chime. Once thresholds are set, I confirm my budget settings and create the budget. I will now receive notifications when my daily costs exceed 90% and 100% respectively. Finally, let's set up a budget report. With budget reports, you can schedule regular reports to monitor your budgets. The report contains information about your budget as well as the current spend. For example, you might want to receive a daily report that shows the month-to-date spend against a monthly budget. In this example, I'm creating a daily budget report against a monthly budget in my account so that I'll receive daily updates on the month to date and forecasted spend. I can specify multiple email recipients and set the report frequency as well. Switching to my email client, this is an example of what an email from budget reports will look like. Using Cost Explorer and AWS budgets, you now have the ability to quickly analyze and monitor costs in your account, which will help you to understand your costs and avoid accidental overspend. We've only covered a small portion of the cost management resources that AWS provides. I encourage you to bookmark our Cloud Financial Management resource page, 
blog, and also review our well-architected hands-on labs to dive deeper into cost management and optimization on AWS. Thanks for watching.